Hey guys, Christine here and I'm a psychic medium. And a lot of ways that I receive my messages is I go on walks in nature because it helps clear my mind. Walking is like meditating. It helps you get into the flow and it helps you really um, be present and ground yourself. So last, last video, I talked about my last walk and the things that I experienced and the messages that I was being brought to you. So, and I put these out in my email. So if you're not on my email list and you would like to be on my email and receive my emails that I put out every week, please check the information box below and you can sign up that way. It also answers you for a chance to win a free one hour tarot session. And um, I do the drawing every month on my TikTok live. So I hope that you'll join that if you're interested. Also, if you're interested in any personal tarot readings, please make sure to also check the information box below. You can check out my schedule. I am currently kind of booked for this month. But if you're interested, you can check my availability. So I really wanted to talk about this walk. So it was an amazing walk. I get there, it's like eight o'clock in the morning and I get out of my car, I put my earphones in, I turn on this meditation music and I begin my walk, begin my walk. I get about two minutes into my walk and I feel a subtle energy shift. And I say subtle because for some, it might you might not feel it, but for me, I have really learned what my energy shifting feels like and when I'm about to get some, what well, some people call them downloads, but I like to say some divine guidance. Um, so I continue moving forward, focusing on the trail ahead of me, and suddenly these two cardinals cross my path. And when I say they cross my path, if my hand was out like this, they would have hit my arm and they come swooping by, catching my attention instantly. And I know for me, when I see Cardinals, that I'm about to experience something very important and that is gonna be very significant on this walk that I am going to be asked to deliver as a message to somebody else. Not even a, like a second later, a third Cardinal comes swooping in and I was like, wow, this is gonna be important. So I continue to walk on down the trail and as I'm walking down the trail, I start to see on each side of the trail, these markers. So I look over at the first marker and it's a children's book and it has a part of a story in it. And I come like, okay. And I didn't really read it, but I did read at the bottom that it asks you to do an action. So in this particular locker, it asks you like to throw your arms back and pretend like you're flying and pretend like you were a bird and then asks you, how did that feel? How did that feel? So I didn't think anything of it. And then I continued to walk. I go to the next blocker and it gives me another part of the story. And then it gives you some information about what you were learning in that specific sentence or part of the book. Then I move to another blocker and then you get the next part of the story. And from there you get to see like, if you're interested and you like what you've read so far, you can find more things like this if you go to this place, which was they were talking about the library in this sense. And then, so I'm thinking to myself, wow, how amazing is this? So I'm paying attention to my thoughts and I'm getting these downloads at this moment. You keep, if you don't keep walking the path, you can't get another part of the story. You can choose to stay at that one part of the story but and only have that experience or you can continue to move forward and discover the rest of the story. And what I was really, the message I was kind of getting at that point, because I started, at this point, I started really typing into my phone because I knew I was getting a lot of information and I was getting it really quickly. So I want to read what I was typing. Um, the message that I was being asked to deliver is your story might not make sense right now at this particular marker that you are at, but it is part of a bigger story, but it's up to you to really embody this experience so you can learn the things that you know that you like that you know that you don't like, that you can gain the wisdom and build the relationships that were gonna help you to move forward. And a lot of this is a relationship with yourself and the relationship with others. Because if you are not there, you will not fully be able to move forward 
in a, in a way that is going to help you complete the story successfully the way that it was meant to be completed by the universe, right? So ultimately, whether you move on is totally up to you because the one thing the universe does give us is the power of choice, right? We have the power of choice. We can choose to continue to make the same decisions over and over again and stay there. And it can be enjoyable and it could be right for you. Or you can choose to do something different and move on and experience something new and start the new chapter or the new page of the story. It's totally up to you. But what will you choose? What will you choose? And each part of the story brings a different experience and makes it more complete. And my ears ringing right now as I'm talking about this. But ultimately, the wonderful universe that gives us the ability to be creators in our story. And the experiences that we have is an experience that we get to work with and create. Oh my God, my ear is ringing like crazy. It's a story that we get to create. Each marker is like the equivalent of a life event. And each life event is an influential, an influential moment in the life of you, the story of you, the story, the legacy, the experience that you came here to have and it helps propel you forward. You can keep being stuck or and experience them over and over again, but ultimately it's up to you to choose. So as I continue to walk down my path, I am minding my own business. I am in, I, I feel great after I get this download. I thought that was it, I thought that was it. But I kept walking because it is like a Zen thing for me and it helps me stay grounded and it helps me stay focused and it helps me rejuvenate my energy. And most of all, it helps me show up in a way for you so I can deliver these messages and bring the guidance that hopefully helps motivate and propel you forward too. But as I kept walking, I looked at the side of the road and there is a cardinal sitting on the side of the trail just eating in the grass. And I'm like, okay, something's about to happen. I have my earphones in, so I'm not really hearing what's going on around me. So I continue to walk and this guy comes jogging up next to me, scares me, jogs me. Like totally, I literally jumped and screamed and he probably thought I was crazy, but I wasn't expecting it. And I didn't see him coming. And in that moment, and he kept, kept running, kept running way, way, way far ahead of me, like passing me far in the channel. He's jogging, I'm walking, so he's way far ahead of me. In that moment, I hear, sometimes it's the moments that jog you and you don't see coming that have the greatest influence on you or the people that you don't see coming that really change the trajectory of where you're going or really you know, bring you back to the moment that help you pay attention. So if you find that you are meeting people, you never know how influential they're going to be for you or how influential you're going to be for them. So I continued to walk and everything was fine. I was just walking, 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 and I walked for like another five, 10 minutes and nothing happened. I was just walking and enjoying my walk. I would look at the sky. I would look at the clouds. I would look at the green trees. I would just look and enjoy the beauty of everything around me. Suddenly, the same guy that had passed me 10 minutes prior came running up behind me again. Didn't see this coming. When that happened, I seen two other cardinals in the tree side. And I was like, okay, there's something, I need to pay attention because this is important. Somewhere along that line, I had paid no attention to this guy and where he was going, but he went off the trail. And while he was off the trail, he had a different experience than I was having. But that was his experience to have. Even though we were on the same trail, he decided to take a different direction. During that, taking a diff different direction, it led him right back to me, even though me and him had never spoke. 
I don't even know his name. And he probably has no idea that he influenced my message today. And what I got is sometimes you have to let people go on their own path so they can have their own experience. But that doesn't mean they don't come right back to you. And to me, that was really about releasing control or the need to hold on to things so tightly because the things that are meant for you in your experience are going to be returned to you. So this guy runs, jogs past me again. He's way far ahead of me, way far ahead of me. And I continue walking. Now, now 20 or 30 minutes go by because my walk was a two and a half hour walk. So 20 or 30 minutes go by and I'm getting ready to, um, getting ready. I'm thinking about maybe turning around. I had never made it to the end of this trail before. And something was, I, something was like, no, just get to the bridge. Just get to the bridge. And as I'm getting to the bridge, I see the same guy, but now he's walking, he's running straight towards me. This guy probably had no idea that he was inspiring me in a way to, you know, enjoy not only enjoy my journey, but to really see that when I just allowed things to happen, the, the experience that I was going through was going to really open me up to experiencing new things. And that his experience, um, by just doing what was right for him, was actually becoming a motivator and influencing factor in my experience. And he had no idea. So they, and as soon as I thought this, I saw another cardinal in the bush. And then immediately I heard, sometimes you are going to influence people and you, they, you will not even know that you're influencing them as long as you are doing what's right on your path for you. Because by living your life and creating the life and honoring yourself, you have the universe will work through you and you might not even realize you're doing it. So this was telling me that it was really important to sometimes just focus on what's important here and allow the universe to do the work that the only thing you had to do was show up for yourself and do what's right for you. So I continued my walk and I kept telling myself, just get to the bridge. So once I get to the bridge, I look a little bit further and I see another cardinal in front of me. So I was like, you know what? I see the cardinal it means I got to keep walking. So I continued walking at probably about a hundred more feet. And as I walked, I realized that the end of the trail was there. I had never made it to the end of the trail. But it, I, in that moment, I felt accomplishment and I felt success and I felt happy. And most of all, I felt a great sense of gratitude for myself and for the experience that I just took the chance and kept going. Now keep in mind, I did have to turn around and walk all the way back. But sometimes along the path, you don't know, along your path, your journey, your story, you don't know what you're gonna get and you don't know where the story is gonna go or how it's going to play out or who's gonna be the influencing factor. But what you do know is that you just keep going. You just keep going. Enjoy your experience. And when you can't enjoy it, still find gratitude and honor right where you are. Because right where you are is right where you need to be. And it is where you are learning important lessons for you to move forward if you so choose to. So that was just a little bit of my, my trail walk. And that kind of brings it back all together. I really hope you guys enjoy it and understand it. If you have any questions and clarification about this message, feel free to check out my website and shoot me an email. I would be honored to connect with you. Again, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I hope to bring you some great new inspiration soon. Um, you can also check out my tarot card readings and check me out on TikTok or Instagram or even Facebook. Um, it's always an honor to connect with you and it's so great to see you again. Have a great day.